Hello and welcome back to AEC Workbench. We have another Bluebeam class for you today. This one is going to be a little bit of an advanced topic. We are going to create a sketch sheet on that unisex bathroom that we decided or that I decided to change up. So you remember this bathroom from the markup? Well, we are going to create a sketch of this in a large plan on a separate sheet. That's going to show how we want the men's toilet to be changed to a unisex toilet. So let's get started. The first thing we have to do is draw in our cloud. We're going to do a cloud plus this time. A cloud plus allows us to draw a cloud with a call out. And so we will have the call out. Let's put the call out right over here. And we'll say CSK42, uh, because it's the answer to all of the sketches. So we got that. And I think I want, let's see, do I have, no, that's got that. That's got too many things. I wanted to see about putting a box around that text. So let's see what we can do to put a box around that text. I'll change the shape from rectangle to circle and then back to rectangle. Look at that. There's our box. So sometimes that still is an undocumented feature, but it is what it is. You have to change it from a box to a circle back to a rectangle or box. And you got your little box around there. So there we go. There's the sketch. I need to grab a... A snapshot around there and the reason I'm pausing is because it's gonna grab it may grab that cloud as well but we'll see we can grab the cloud as well and then erase it so I want to grab a snapshot around there so I've got that I need to create another sheet and that's inside of my thumbnail so I right click out there and I say insert blank page and I want it to be I want it to be letter, letter, and blank. What do we have? Do we have sketches? No, we don't. That's fine. We can pick OK. And now I have a blank sheet. And then we'll paste into here. That's good. And this is not the scale, so we can blow this up if we want. All right. That's good. It looks, still looks good because it's still vector, vectors. We'll click on the, oh, the cloud is not a cloud. Look at that. So that whole sketch, is it a group? No, it is not a group and it's not flattened. So I don't like that because it has the cloud around there. So let's go back to here. And then we'll zoom in on that. We'll click the cloud and we'll delete it. We'll do a, a snapshot, and then we'll control Z to bring it back. And then we'll paste over here. So we've got that pasted in there. Now I need to grab all of the parts and put it in here before I scale it up. So I need to grab a toilet, which I have in my tool chest. If you want to learn how to grab the toilet, then check out that other video. I do want to grab a door and I think I can use this door that'll be just fine yes that'll be fine because I want it to open up like that I think or like that now we'll have it open up like that it's all right it's my it's my little world here it's not going to be the code but who cares we're just showing you how to do blue beam all right so we're zoomed in looking good this is a markup, that is a markup. I wanna turn that into content so that I can start erasing things from it. So I'm gonna click on this markup, I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna say flatten. And now it's content again. So now I can use the erase content and get rid of that urinal right there. And then I can move this down to here. I hit that V key that got me to the move command. So there's where I want the urinal like that and that looks okay I mean I could move it a little bit like that Did I get it perfect uh, probably not 
These are the these are the battles we go through. There we go. Perfect dish. Perfecter. All right. Now I need to grab this doorway. Remember last time when we were talking about grabbing that toilet, how the swing was in the way? Well, we've got a bunch of stuff in the way on this one. Control V. I'm going to paste it up here. I'm going to make that part of the content now. So I'm going to flatten that. Okay, so now I can use the eraser and erase the content. So we'll get rid of that. We'll get rid of this. 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 Actually, I could probably just get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of this. Get rid of that. There we go. Is that what I want? Yeah, that's good enough. All right, so now I will snapshot this. And we'll move it into place. Then I'm going to snapshot this. Whoops. Snapshot. I'm going to snapshot this. It's going to be cleaner. No, it wasn't snapshot, was it? That snapshot. See, I get confused sometimes. Good. We'll paste that in. Remember, there's the rotate right there. Do 70. We'll get that moved into place. Groovy. And now we'll snapshot again. Like that. And then we can paste that in. Rotate it around. Move that over to there, like a so. Yeah, uh, it's not going to be the code. Like that. And now when I erase content here, that's going to be a mess. So I don't want to erase, I want to erase about that much of it away. So what am I going to do? I'm going to move this over here. Let's see. Let's move this up over here like this. Yeah, that'll work. In order to erase part of the content, I have to flatten it. Erase the content. If you're not following this, that's okay. Just watch. And then come back and do it again and pause the video so that you can follow what I'm doing. You see I'm just I'm doing the same thing over and over and over again. I am erasing content, snapshotting, erasing content, snapshotting. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, that's good enough. Need to edit the men's toilet here so that was the advanced text up here in the corner. And this needs to get changed. Let's see what happens when I do this. Whoa. See how that text disappeared, the SF down there? Let's try that again. Try that again. Yeah. There we go. Delete, 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 delete. Click here. Yeah, I like it like that. Okay. Now it needs to be centered like that. Okay, perfect. Ish. Okay, so now that's done, that's done, that's done, that's done. Good. All I have to do now is delete these things. Good. And we'll erase content. Great. And let's select it all with a V. And I'm going to flatten it all. Well, maybe. Flatten. 
Okay, now it's all there, and that's good. Do I want it a little bit bigger now? So I can snapshot it again. Well, that wasn't snapshot. This is snapshot. There it is. Now I can get rid of this. Why did I do that? You'll see in just a second. V for move. And I can make this larger like that. Okay, perfect-ish. All right, so how? what the heck did I do? Let me explain what I did here. I took a snapshot of this toilet area and I pasted it into a new sheet. I flattened it. By flattening a markup, it makes it content. Then I can use tools to erase part of it because I can't erase part of the snapshot. I can only erase part of the content. See, erase content. That's why it says that. When you flatten a snapshot, it makes it content and then you can use the erase content to erase part of it so i was erasing part of it snapshotting it flattening erasing part snapshot flattening it's those those three commands over and over and over again in order to get what i needed out of bluebeam to use the parts that i had in order to make this toilet so now the last part i want to do is i want to create a hyperlink to go to here so we will go back to the first page to go from this area to that new enlarged view that we made on the other sheet. To do that, we'll click on the hyperlink button here. If you don't have it, you can do a shift H. You can right click, bring up uh, advanced. You can get it from the tools and there's hyperlink there. It's all over the place. So we'll do hyperlink. Now in hyperlink, I want to put a box inside of the bathroom so you can click in the bathroom anywhere and it takes you to the other thing but to do that you have to get your cursor so that it becomes that little crosshair see that crosshair if it's not the crosshair you got to move it around until you find the crosshair don't worry if it's not in the spot that you want you just need that crosshair to work we can resize the box later so click and drag to create your box and then let go and I want to create a snapshot view and I will get a rectangle. And this is where it's going to go. It's going to go here to this rectangle. So it's going to go to page two at those coordinates on that drawing. I'll pick OK. So now when I go back to page one, you can see it's still blue because I'm still in hyperlink mode or in creating hyperlink mode. So I'm going to click on this one. Let's see, can I click on that one? No, no. I'll click on this one. Come on. Oh, yeah, there it is. I got to wait for that thing to pop up with the, the move command. Then I can grab this and scoot it over because I don't want it to be in the way. Click on that hyperlink. Grab this grip. See how I had to move my mouse around to get that to work? Sometimes you have to do that. All right. So there's my hyperlink. And I want to create another hyperlink right here. And I want that hyperlink. I double clicked on it. Rectangle. It's going to go to the same spot. So that's cool. That's what I want. Okay. Then I can hit escape and that gets me out of hyperlink mode. So now if I click on here, it's going to take me to the second page. If I go back to the first page and zoom extents and click on here, it should take me to the same spot. See that? Pretty nifty. So that's how you create a hyperlink. That's all there is to it. It's called a hyperlink. It's also called an action. So when you go in to your drawing and you right click on it, you can pick edit action. And that will allow you to edit your hyperlink. I don't know why they didn't call it edit hyperlink, but they didn't. They called it edit action. All right. Thanks for joining me with this little advanced tutorial on how to create a enlarged view and how to create a hyperlink to go to your enlarged view. Have fun. Subscribe to all those things. Let me know in the comments down below if you'd like other Bluebeam tutorials and what topics you're interested in.